Kidnapped and tortured and now recovering from surgery to his gruesome wounds, the opposition activist Dmitry Bulatov is slipping into and out of consciousness in an intensive care ward in Kiev. A close friend among the many keeping vigil near his side took these pictures for Al Jazeera on Saturday. The doctors are trying to cope with this situation because of his health. You have to understand eight days of beatings, eight days of torture, a person is <laughs> so he's in a critical situation right now. But from the Ukrainian government, a disdainful dismissal of the whole affair. Now it looks like that uh, the alleged story that he was kidnapped and tortured is not absolutely true. The investigation is going on. Physically, this man uh, in a good condition. The only thing he has is a scratch on one of his cheeks. In Kiev's Independence Square, the opposition activists standing a frozen vigil now fear a state of emergency could be declared at any time as the power vacuum grows, with the country's president running a high fever and the parliament in recess. But a close advisor to President Yanukovych told Al Jazeera he thinks early parliamentary elections should be held this year and a peacemaker brought in. Who can this mediator be? only someone acceptable to all sides. They must be from Europe. All sides will trust them. The USA and Russia must stay out of it. The growing need for effective mediation of any kind in this crisis is underlined by a letter just issued by the Ministry of Defense. Ukraine's top military commanders have demanded to know from President Yanukovych what measures he intends to take to stabilize the situation in the country. On the frozen waters of the river Dnieper that runs through Kiev, the fishermen were out on the ice trying to forget the turmoil in the country and bring home some supper. It's time to do something. I've had no salary since last May. But the hopes of a breakthrough in the crisis still look forlorn. The nation is locked in a conflict that shows no sign of abating. David Chater, Al Jazeera. Kiev.